Hello students. Now have a quick look at this circle just here. And as you can see from the whole circle, we've cut out a portion of it. Now that part of the circle that we've cut out can be represented three different ways. We can say that we've taken away a quarter of the circle or cut out a quarter of the circle. We could say that we've taken out 25% of the circle or we can say that that is equal to 0.25 of the circle. So in other words, numbers, uh, fractions, such as one quarter, can also be represented as percentages and as decimals. And in this video and in a couple of following videos, we're going to learn how to convert between these three different forms. So let's get started. OK, now where I always like to start with fractions, decimals, and percents is by looking at what I call the benchmark fractions which is one half, one third, a quarter, a fifth, an eighth, a tenth, and one hundredth. Now, these simpler ones, hopefully you already know that a fraction of one half as a decimal is 0 0.5 and as a percent is 50%. So the whole amount is 100%, so half of that's 50%. And to convert a fraction to a decimal, you can just move your decimal point after the 52 places to get 0 0.5 or, if you prefer, 0 0.50. I normally don't write the extra zeros on the end, so just 0 0.5. Now, once you know that a half is 0 0.5 or 50%, you can use that to say, well, a quarter is half of a half. So that is 25% or 0 0.25 and an eighth is half of a quarter so that's going to be 12.5% or as a decimal 0 0.125 so halves quarters and eighths if you know a fraction of a half as a decimal in percent you can work out a quarter in an eighth now, one-tenth is quite easy. It's just basically a 10% because a, a tenth of 100% is 10%. That makes that 0 0.1. A hundredth is just 1% or 0 0.01. And looking at a fifth, well, 5 goes into 120 times, so one-fifth is the same as 20% and it's a decimal is 0 0.2 and finally a third doesn't go nicely so as a percentage that's just 33.3% recurring which in Australia we show as a dot and as a decimal 0 0.3 recurring I know in the US and probably other places they like to use a little line up there. So you can put a little line instead of a dot. So those are the fractions, decimals, and percents that you should just learn. So it's worth knowing those. Now once you know, for example, that 20% um, and one-fifth are the same number, let's say that you're given 60% and you want to convert that to a fraction and a decimal. Well, you say 60% is 3 times 20%. So as a decimal, 0 0.2 times 3 is 0 0.6. Or you just move your decimal point back two places. And as a fraction, if 20% is 1 fifth, 60% is going to be 3 fifths. OK, 12.5%, that's one of the ones that you should know, that 12.5% is a decimal, is 0 0.125. And as a fraction, that simplifies to one eighth. Okay, if you have ones like seven percent, or sorry, excuse me, zero point zero seven, well, that's just seven hundredths, so that is seven percent. Let me just write that a bit more neatly, so I'll undo all of that. Seven percent. And as a fraction, that's going to be just 7 over 100. And let me do one more. Let's have a look at 90%. Well, that's just 9 times 
10%, so that's going to be 0 0.9, which you can get by moving the decimal point two places, and as a fraction, oops, again, I'll write that a bit more neatly, as a fraction, 9 on 10. Okay, go ahead and uh, see if you can complete the rest of these questions, please. Okay, to save time, I've already done them for you, so let's just have a look at the answers on the next page. So my suggestion is just mark what you just did and see how you went. But the secret is, for these sort of fractions, the simpler ones, the more common ones, I should say, learn your benchmark fractions, decimals, and percents, and then you can work out questions like this using those. Okay, and then the next couple of videos will show you what to do if the fractions, decimals, and percents aren't quite as nice.